What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about flat sided crankbaits, specifically the Berkeley Fritz side. But it's less than out of the package and guys I'm telling you it's something just different enough So I'm gonna tell you guys when to fish them, what they imitate, and my personal favorite setup on uh, for what I use to throw these baits. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. I ended up winning that tournament that you guys saw, uh, that video that I dropped a few videos ago where we won that first place tournament with my buddy. We were fishing a lake and we ended up winning them on the Berkeley Fritz side. And I made a key modification or customization to a Berkeley Fritz side that ended up making a huge difference. It ended up catching probably four or five fish to my buddy's one throwing the exact same lure but with my modification and I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Let's jump into it here. First off, a flat sided crankbait is, for those who don't know, is meant or it is built, let's open one up here, It is built with flatter sides. So as you guys can see that there, it has flat sides. And what that's gonna do for this bait is create less of a wobble. So no, most of the time, crankbaits are bouncing along the bottom. They're gonna be rocking and rolling and just thro throwing a bunch of action. And that can be very good for a reaction strike most of the year. However, in the winter time, the water cools drastically. And as that water cools, both the bait that the fish are targeting and the fish themselves slow down. So everything isn't, you know, crazy, it's not as erratic, but you can still get a reaction strike on a flat sided crankbait. And that is the best time of year to throw these is in the winter time because they actually have less action. However, it's still a enough to create a reaction strike. So these baits on the bottom, instead of a huge roll and a kick, they're just gonna roll back and forth, something like that. I mean, it's very light, it's very tight, and there's just not a lot of water movement, not a lot of, you know, this, this bait isn't gonna shoot a ton. But that's the whole purpose of a flat-sided crankbait in the winter time, is just to not be as erratic, and it's more of a finesse crankbait, I would call it. It's going to catch those fish when more erratic crankbaits will not. So that's why it's a killer in the winter time. What it represents, pretty obviously here, anything the fish are eating. This one has a craw pattern, crawfish in the winter time. You guys hear me talk about it all the time. Crawfish in the winter time are a great forage for bass to eat and they're gonna eat up heavily on those crawfish up shallow, on rock, on clay, getting ready for the spawn. So that's a crawfish imitator there. I would say that's number one color pattern for these crankbaits that I throw in the winter time is something like that, reds, orange, yellow. Just match the type of crawfish that are in your lake. And then the other side of that, and this is not a Berkeley Fritz side, but also a flat-sided crankbait. This is the Rapala Ots Garage Slim. If I had to choose a number two brand of flat-sided crankbait, this would be it right there. But this is a shad pattern and that's what those fish also are focusing on. Again, they're gonna be moving a little bit slower, a little more sluggish, but they're still gonna be wanting to feed up for the spawn that's gonna happen here. You know, it's probably start in another month or two, those early fish, but that's another color pattern there. And again, it's just representing what the fish are eating, a bait fish or a crawfish. So those are kind of my two favorite colors right there. Now for my rod and reel setup. I generally throw anywhere from a seven to seven six rod, depending on the type of cover you're fishing. And what I mean by that, a shorter rod is going to allow you to make more accurate casts, and a longer rod is going to make, allow you to make longer casts, but not as accurate. So with that shorter rod, you're gonna get some accuracy. So if you're fishing docks around tree stumps, around you know, blow down, stuff like that, where you need to be very accurate with your cast and hit that particular piece of cover, 
I generally lean towards the seven foot range of a rod. And then if I'm trying to make a very long cast across points or just open areas or large flats down the bank, I go all the way up to a seven six rod. Just allows me to make a longer cast a little bit easier. With these crankbaits, they don't dig super deep. Most of these are going to be shallow. You can see that's probably the deepest bill there. This is a Fritz side seven. So about seven feet deep. Most of these go, this is a Fritz side five big in. But they're not gonna go very deep. So you don't need a very heavy rod per se. I like a medium heavy. I think that's perfect. You could go all the way down to a medium or up to a heavy if you wanted to. I mean, if you're gonna throw it on like 17 to 20 pound line and you're around heavy, heavy cover and you need to jack them out of there, I don't recommend it. It's a crankbait. Uh, if you can, just let the rod load and you know get the fish out of there. I've had no issues with a medium heavy rod. As far as line goes, entirely depends on what you're fishing on. So if you're fishing on you know, open water or just clay, you can get around, you can get away with 10 or 12 pound line. If you guys are fishing around heavy cover, or like stumps or, you know, heavy rock, I normally jump up to 15 to 17, all the way up to 20 in extreme cases. But again, most of the time, 15 pound line is perfect for me. Real speed and real, pick your favorite reel. Real speed, I'm a seven to one to one normally when I'm cranking. It can be very fast. I think it triggers a reaction strike. Again, I, I, I'm a guy who likes to have speed. I can always slow down, at least I tell myself that I can. It's just a lot better if I hook a you know big fish, I can catch up to it quickly if I have that speed. So that's my setup there. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about flat-sided crankbaits. There's not a ton to it. Like I said, throw them in the winter, they imitate a crawfish or a bait fish, and then throw them on a, a medium heavy crankbait rod with 15 pound line, you'll go out and catch fish. I promise you guys that. As I mentioned in the title of this video, the Berkeley Fritz side is one of my favorites or probably my favorite flat sided crankbait. I most of the time throw the five big in. That's the one that I like. However, my one complaint with the Berkeley Fritz sides are the bills. As you guys can see here, this bill is completely cracked off. And this is not the first one that I've cracked. That's a normal bill right there. But I wanna know, have you guys cracked these off? I've probably cracked five or six of them, unfortunately. And it's not like they're cheap baits by any means. They work phenomenally. I'm not dogging these baits. Like I said, I have a whole box of them. Clearly they work and they're straight up fish catchers. That's why I have them and throw them most of the time when I'm throwing a flat sided crankbait. However, I do break the lips a lot. So you can't really, I mean, I've broken them, just throwing them on rock. They, they shatter off. If you slap it on the water, which I don't do anymore, but if you slap it on the water to get grass off, the lip can break. Have you guys had the same issue with these Berkeley frats, uh, Fritz sides? Post it down in the comments below if you guys have had these same problems with the bill breaking off of these. So that's my one complaint with them. Just being honest, like I said, I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything, but I just wanna be blunt with you guys. They're kind of expensive baits and honestly, they're not as durable as I would personally like them to be. All right, so now at the beginning of the video, I hinted that I was going to share with you guys the exact bait that I won that tournament on a few weeks ago. and. It happens to be where is it? a Berkeley Fritzide 5 Biggin. Now, there's a couple modifications I made to this bait, and I'll kind of take a backtrack, uh, backtrack here, kind of what we talked about earlier. A flat sided crankbait slows down, doesn't have as much wobble in the water, and that's why it's really good for. I call it finesse cranking or wintertime cranking when everything's not moving as much. You can actually do even more to give the bait an even different action. And number one is change out your hooks. So they come out of the package with a little bit smaller hooks than this. And I normally throw one size larger hook, treble hook on there. And what that does is it actually creates even more drag in the water from that bait 
and creates even less action. So that's a little tip, that's a little juice tip right there that uh, also works and I fish with friends and they throw you know the stock hooks, which are completely fine. The hooks are fine, it's not about the hooks, it's about the size of the hook and what it does to the bait. So what you can do, like I said, is throw a larger hook on there. I only use one size larger and that will create even tighter of an action and less more of a do nothing action in the water. It still wobbles a little bit, but it's less than out of the package. And guys, I'm telling you, it's something just different enough from probably what these fish see a bunch with everyone throwing these flat sided crankbaits. And especially in the winter time when these fish, or these bait fish are just not moving fast at all. And that crankbait's just coming through the water just like this. I mean, it is very, very tight, kind of do nothing. I think it's just enough to slow that bait down enough to look natural and real. So that's the tip number one that I normally do just to create something different. You don't always have to, but it's something to try and can actually make a difference. You wouldn't think of it, but it definitely does. And then the customization that I ended up doing to a uh, Berkeley Fritzide 5 Biggin that outperformed another frit side of just a stock color not this one this one's this is a good color but uh, another shad color something similar let's see i don't have one with me here but i actually foiled these baits so i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this real well but i will try but i actually foil these frit sides so you can't buy them like this it's something I do, but I paint them up, or I'm sorry, I foil them, I stamp the foil with scale pattern, and then I paint them up in the back, in the belly, and bada bing, bada boom, just like that. I mean, look at these baits, guys. I mean, they are pretty. And it's just something, again, I don't think those fish saw it or have seen it before, it's something that's not available to the market. So sorry for you guys, unless you guys can foil them yourselves, uh, you're not gonna be able to get them. You know what, better yet, I might make them. So you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing these, also let me know down in the comments below. I'd be curious. Uh, if I get enough people interested, maybe I'll make a batch of them and ship them out. So you guys let me know. If you guys are interested in purchasing or would be interested in purchasing these, let me know. But these baits, outperformed a normal painted frit side five to one. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. They caught most of our big fish. They caught a lot of numbers. I mean, it was ridiculous. And as you guys saw, I was fishing out of my buddy's boat and most of the time I was actually fishing behind him. So he was in front of me, had first cast and everything and those fish just preferred this. Now, it was on a sunny day, which makes sense with chrome. It's going to throw some more flash. Uh, I would probably not throw this on cloudy days, but I'm sure it would work. But on that tournament day, it worked extremely well. So that's my secret for y'all. That's kind of my little modification and customization. I'm always playing with baits, with colors, what I can do to change them. So... You just saw two tips in that video from the treble hook size to the foiling of the baits on something that you guys can try to get more bites in your area. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video on flat sided crankbaits. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. I've got so much more coming down the line, some really cool videos. And with all that said, I will catch y'all in the next video.